a very important meeting. Yes, I do. Are you ready to have an important meeting, Bryce? Uh, yeah. Hey. 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 You're about to embark on a journey. Yeah. Uh, it's... Uh, almost 11 o'clock, July 29th, uh, uh, at Casa Brushwood. Yes. And, uh, we are going to Nertacular in less than six hours. Yes. Well, we'll be on the plane, on the plane, boarding. Um, so you'll be leaving here in less than five-ish? Probably less, yeah. Yeah. Four and a half or so. Should be fun. And, yeah. Um, okay. So you have shared a hotel room with Brian. Is there anything I need? Like, snoring? Like, fucking sleepwalking? Like... I don't think so. Um, just... I, I feel like, by now, you've probably seen Brian walk around in his underwear, right? Um, you know what? Not since I moved here. I know he did it during... That's surprising. Class, but not... <laughs> I don't think since I've been here. But I, I have seen it once or twice, I guess. Well, you can probably expect that. Okay. But Honestly, that's my, kind of my MO anyway. Yeah. Like, uh, I, you know. um, outside of that, I don't think so. No. I mean, and you guys, you're you're probably going a little light on the luggage, right? Is. Yeah. Um, I think, well, we're... Because we're, you're not doing, like, the full stage show. Right, exactly. The luggage that we are taking is mostly t-shirts. Gotcha. Um, uh, depending on when this comes out, we're doing a uh, mystery t-shirt box. So, mm. it's like, you give us five bucks, and I'm keeping the abortion. Uh, oh, boy. <laughs> no, you get a you get a random shirt, and then it gives creates an incentive for people to trade, which I think is a really interesting idea. Just like, yeah. hey, your thing is, my thing, my, my worry is that they might not, the sizes, like, getting the right size. People are, like, particular yeah. about their sizes. Though. Yeah. I feel like I, because I get, like, free shirts and cheap stuff mm -hmm. every so often, and they're always, like, extra large. Yeah, and you're like, what am I supposed to do with this? Right. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, yeah, and then we've got the live show on Friday night. Mm-hmm. Which I guess is... We talked about this in the Bizarre Briefing a little bit, that it's, like, worrying me, mm -hmm. even though, like, on the surface it seems simple enough. Right. Um, I don't know. Sometimes I feel like I have a diversion to just do the work. Right? Yeah. Like, oh, I have something I gotta do. <laughs> Time to panic. <laughs> sure. I mean, f for me it always boils down to, like, unknown variables. Right, like if I know all the variables, mm -hmm. no stress, no yeah. anxiety. Okay. Yeah, but if there's anything that just, uh, if there's any element of it that I don't know what to expect, yeah. everything goes crazy. Or opportunity for surprise. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I that maybe that's what it is because you know it's a new location. So we don't know what the I don't know what the AV setup is. I'm right. Not sure, I can like. It's pretty much just a room. Yeah. So. Um, you know, like I hope people show up. I don't know how it's going to work with Justin's thing being, like, immediately before. Mm -hmm. um, and then, you know, hoping the Wi-Fi sticks around long enough that we can re-encode it and send it to Cheeto so that it can be re-encoded again. Um, you know, all these different things. Like, uh, I knew that they were going to do audio streaming. Mm -hmm. uh, Alpha Geek Radio was. Uh, but then I also saw that they have the, the, the Frog Pants Twitch channel on their website, so some stuff is gonna get video streamed. Yeah. But by who and how? Yeah, uh, I don't know. Oh, that's not on me, dog. Because <laughs> we're not we're not back for it. Uh, yeah. Yeah, but I, I, I'm you know I'm kind of looking forward to it because I was packing today and I realized I'm taking a lot of days clothing. Hmm. Right. Like I was probably gonna change when I get there Thursday. Right. Or er, in a couple hours. Uh, and then Friday, and then Saturday and Sunday. Um, and, you know, if the responsibilities in that time are, you know, shoot some stand-ups for the scam school that we shot today, and do this live show, 
then the rest of that is just like actually pretty good like free time slash like community time like mm-hmm. getting to put faces gonna hang out with a viking lass and yeah. chimera who's definitely gonna be there yeah. ben new 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 bolds um he's he's a chat roamer who always shows up to that uh, curly's already arrived i think April oh jeez. already arrived yeah a lot of them got in early crazy like, Whoa, I, isn't sunbun going as well I think so. Maybe. He's either going to that or Dragon Con, one of the two. Yeah, um, this is a weird year, I think, because, like, I, I don't know enough to say to have up with your lighting. A little bit. I was getting some nice bloom effect. <laughs> I know. I, I almost turned it off. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's a weird year because there's, like, a real incentive for people to go to Dragon Con. Mm-hmm. Because yeah. it's getting married. But, like, Nertacular feels like it's getting bigger. As someone who's never gone, <laughs> it feels like, you know, Justin's doing his one-man show. Mm-hmm. Last year they did the Night Attack Live. Did they do that last year? I um, so. I believe so. Um, no, that was 2013, I think. Because we were looking at the Behind the Scam from Nerdtacular, and I could have sworn that was the 2013 one. And that looked like, it doesn't matter. Yeah. Um. Uh, but it's also, like, it's, like, not that expensive to get in, like, as far as, like, badge goes versus mm-hmm. Dragon Con. Sure, yeah. Uh, which I still don't have to think <laughs> uh, But I, I'm, I, I, I will be, I'll, I'll be good. I'll be good, dog. Sure, yeah. yeah. Uh, aren't you, you're going home mm-hmm. this weekend, right, or something like that? Yeah, tomorrow I'm driving up to Dallas, and I'm just going to hang out there for, four or five days, something like that, I don't nice. know. Yeah. Um, just take a little time off, and by time off, I mean I'll probably work from there. Um, but you get to see, be your, with your family. And, yeah. You know. I get to eat well for the <laughs> first time in a while. <laughs> have you, uh, you, have, you have your new apartment, right? Yeah. Have you cooked anything that wasn't instant? I, I made a macaroni and cheese the other day. No, we don't have cheese? Uh, no. Craft? Yeah. That's like. Um, yeah. I made. I made. Did you put hot dogs in it or something? No. Hot dogs, dog. No, I'm. Hot dogs. Like that's are, a red meat, I guess. That's kind of a meat. Hot dogs, I can deal with in moderation. Yeah. Um, not my favorite, but not the worst. Um, and then I also had, and this is also not a great example, but it's it's better than cereal. Um. Uh, it was um, those uh, those pizza rolls. Oh, yeah. 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 <laughs> so like that requires me to use my oven at least. Turn it on, I guess. But... Yeah, and put stuff in it. <laughs> did you pair anything with it? Okay, I guess this is a better question. Did you like the mac and cheese? Did it go with anything else? Um, pizza rolls? Or did that go with the side? No, I mean, I just, I just that, had... That's I, approaching, like, hey, you know what, like, you know, it'd be a great meal, but it's right, a meal. Right, right, right. Uh, no, I didn't. I, th- I think, I know the pizza rolls was definitely, like, a last-ditch effort of, mm-hmm. oh, it's, I need to eat. Food time is now. Yeah. Um, and then macaroni, I was just like, I'm just going to sit here and eat this full thing of macaroni, and that'll be fine. Uh... I don't know. But also I'm super pumped because uh, I, I went and got a, a water filter, like one of those pitchers. Oh, yeah, yeah, the pitchers. Yeah, um, you kind of need it out here. Yes. And Sometimes the ice tastes weird. Hmm. And I'd, I've been using bottled water for a long time, which is like the worst. Yeah, that's um, not good no. at all. No. Uh, and so I'm, I'm really happy that I, I made that switch finally. Yeah. Um, Damn. Uh, box shop. They have boxed water. I feel mm-hmm. like I heard somebody mention that. Like it's um. Which sounds like a Canadian thing. Uh, but it's like I guess it's because it's paper, so it's biodegradable. But mm. it's paper, so it's got some sort of adhesive, which is like fucking. Oh weird. You thought BP. The 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 when plastic corrodes in the water bottles. 
Right. And you drink plastic. Like, I'm sure that's just as bad as drinking adhesive. Eh, I probably, I probably drink Which and eat things is? worse than plastic. Dude, I mean, did you guys see this from BioCal? Oh, that's so awesome. That's right? pretty neat. And it's like, it's got different settings where it's like, it goes flickery or doubly flickery. Oh. That's just a jam, right? That's awesome. You just have a button that makes it loop going. It's go time. Oh, okay. It kind of does because you hear you hear it's going. Yeah. It's it's <laughs> it's 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 You're it's it's that, it's it's. Uh, I, I wasn't planning on. Should I? Dude, put it on the table. Oh, dude. You need to adapt that so that way you can wear it as your belt buckle. Dude, I don't know about putting anything on my crotch that says night attack. That sounds like fucking uh, no, uh, but it's cool. We're on the probable air. cause <laughs> <laughs> for a live stream and a rape. Uh, you're well, right. Okay. I did say night attack on the air. That was so of course we were going to film it. Yeah. Naturally. You know, it's been a third of a year since we did one of these. I was just thinking it's been a very long time. Since Wait, since a very important meeting? Mm-hmm. Yeah. A third of a year? Four months. The last time was... That ain't right. In April. Early April. Yeah. Well, what is it now? Like, I don't, I don't, July. E I don't even July. think we had the big button when we did that. Oh, uh, shit. Yeah. Everyone would be cool about that big button. Let's not go rubbing it in any giant company's face. I'm I, sure I'm not be real. Oh, I thought you meant, like, literally rubbing it. No. Be, like, too late. Yeah. I'm just saying, I'd like to thank all of our friends who made this possible for us to do. And we're done talking about that. Yeah. Um, so we were talking about Fantacular. Yeah. Um, Are you ready? I... Are you freaked out? I mentally am ready. I am not physically ready. Oh, you have to. And then I have to pack up the, some of the equipment. Uh, okay, solve this. All yeah. Right. You know, uh, I think it's BPA. You know, when, when you have a water bottle and the plastic erodes into the water. Yeah. Is that better or worse than uh, there's boxed water and it comes in a little paper box. Yeah. But you know they got to use some sort of adhesives on that, right? Yeah. Which is worse, the plastic or the adhesive? This I, is very important, people. I, I, I absolutely would assume the plastic is worse insofar as it lasts longer, as best I can tell. However... Mm -hmm. Like, I know, and I've talked about this on the air, and uh, probably shouldn't have, but, like, I remember at some point in the mid-90s, there being the breakdown of, like, okay, if you live on the coast or near water, then it's better to have paper bags than plastic, mm -hmm. because paper bags uh, don't choke birds or whatever, uh, whereas plastic sticks around. However, if you live inland, it's better to have uh, plastic than uh, paper, the reason being is when you put the paper into a landfill, absent any of, you know, absent the water or whatever, to dissolve it and help break it down into pulp, the paper bags actually sit around much longer and they take up more space, creating more landfill stuff. So it was one of those counterintuitive things. Huh. Uh, I would love to be- So is your body coastal or is it inland? I would say inland. It's the a coastal flare. Uh, a little, a little flirt. Yeah, I don't know. That's mm. a really good point. A little slip and slide in there. Yeah. 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 Um, I mean, I don't know. Isn't your generation supposed to fix all this? Can't you guys just fix bottle, of, uh, bottles of water? Yeah, man. Aren't you supposed to make like robots made out of bottles of water that that capture bottles of water and make more robots out of them that eventually take over the planet or something? I think someone's three D printing that right now. Wait, 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 well, good. Then let them deal with it. Just you know. You hear that, Cory Doctorow? Let let Bryce worry about Bryce. <laughs> <laughs> Future's got future. <laughs> some will look, some will split later. Yeah, exactly, man. That's somebody else's problem. Yeah. Uh, uh, do you guys ever listen to the, the Cracked.com podcast? No, but you've talked about it a lot. Yeah, there was a, uh, the recent thing they were talking about overblown fears or whatever, <clears throat> and uh, one of the guys pointed out that apparently the sun has like a dual processor feature, and there's dual cycles or whatever. Hyperthreading. And we're entering a period 50 years from now where both of them will simultaneously be in a down market, basically, 
which means like 50 years from now, Ice Age, like, uh, no, yeah, that's uh, dude, look, look it up on crack. I mean, I assume, unless it, unless he, you know, was lying, you can't lie on the internet, yeah, uh, you're right. Yeah, I mean, you've said it. What, what, I'm say, what, what I'm going to say is, like, like you know, if, if it's wrong, don't blame me. You know, blame the guy who <laughs> fed me the false information. 50 years and I'll be dead, motherfuckers. Uh, yeah, or, I'm not planning to be around. No, I could shake my fist into my 90s. <laughs> oh, okay. So I have a question about the singularity. Sure. Because I feel like that's your goal, right? It's sometime for expiring. Yeah. Hit singularity. Sure. Live forever. Sure. Yeah. Uh, which, by the way, I asked uh, Father Robert if, like, the Catholic Church has a position on the singularity. Yeah, what, did he have an answer? He, you know, I he, feel like he, that's something probably he, the Pope is I, not considered very much. Well, I mean, actually, I mean, knowing Father Robert, well, it's like, I don't know, he, he made back some joke about butts or something, you know, because, you know, he dodged the question. Mm. But it's like, dude, the fucking Catholics have contingency plans for everything. They have to, I mean, Catholics were the first to embrace the Big Bang. They're the first to embrace uh, uh, evolution, right? Sure. I mean, they're very forward-thinking, scientifically minded. Um, they so you're saying they're futurists too. They really are. Yeah. I mean, quite literally, um, they have to have a plan for the singularity, mm -hmm. and uh, I, don't, I, I don't know what it is. I mean, I'm going to try to get it out of Father Robert. So my thought was, uh, let's say the singularity comes out. Google presents the singularity, right. whatever it is. Yeah. Right. Uh, you can upload your personality to the singularity and have a Brian Brushwood live on that dimension or in that space basically forever, right? Sure. But uh, my thinking with the singularity is that I don't know that consciousness will go with it. Would you, would you give up your the life behind your eyes to live on, to, have, to create a thing that lives in the singularity if it meant that that thing could live on? Uh, I mean, I regard the persistence of meanness, the, uh, what we think of Gross. as consciousness, I, I perceive that to be a, uh, an illusion. Like, like when, once you read enough books talking about all the different nuts and bolts in the brain mm -hmm. and about how, about how uh, there, you know, there are tests where uh, with one hand you go to reach a thing and the moment you decide that you're going to reach for the thing you click like I'm going to reach for it and then you do so and you're like yeah me I said I was going to do it and then I did it meanwhile the fMRI running at the same time said uh, no these three modules in their brain all reached consensus four milliseconds later they, you bothered to press that button and then it happened so the very idea of of, of us cognition. Being, like, yeah, may, may in fact be an, an illusion in but, and of itself. But not even cognition, not even free will. I mean, uh, uh, interpretation. Like, actually, the idea being that the singularity entity you create is more or less a copy of you, that you don't live through the eyes of, regardless of how it makes its decisions. I mean, what's, what's the difference, you know? Is, uh, like, let's say, let's say the plan was for the exact copy of Brian to go into effect tomorrow, mm. only you don't tell me. And I go to bed one night, and then I wake up the next morning, yawn, complain about my weight, uh, eat some vegetables, just like Brian always did. Yeah. My entire, no one in my family is affected. I go on to lead, you know, a long and productive life, running out the rest of the Brian routine, you know, reacting the same way as Brian would in any situation. Mm. You know, I mean, I guess, there's only one person that would complain in that situation, and that would be, and that person, unfortunately, is no longer conscious to know that it's happening. So, mm -hmm. perversely, it's like, I mean, does it matter? That's, a, I mean, that is a good question, right? Uh, I, and then, and then, I mean, to to turn it into a horror movie, you know, who's to who's to say that hasn't happened to everyone else on the planet but you already? Who's to say that all of us aren't just? shells of echoes of people who once were, you know, mimicking our, uh, you know, doing our best impressions of, of what conscious individuals do. Good night, kids. <laughs> we gotta be on a plane in five hours. Uh, Brant? Hmm? Dude, Any, uh, words of advice. Look, it's 
greenhorn kind of coming in. Do you think he's going to make it through his first battle? Or do you think he's going to saw off his leg in the middle of the TSA? He'll be fine. Although, it would be really funny if he got lost. <laughs> Did you get lost? Nope. You know, uh, you know the story about Chad, right? With Chad. Hell yeah. Chad got lost? Which <laughs> 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 time? Uh, <laughs> Chad... We in an airport or in a okay. city? So, we were going from oh, Austin God. to, we'll say Portland. Sure. And along the way, there was a stop uh, for uh, uh, in Denver. And, uh, you know, Brad, being a trained pro, knew that this was the chance to sleep was from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. So I slept. And uh, uh, <laughs> and Chad, being a little bit of a newbie, he, uh, you know, landed. We were like, and now we're getting off the plane. He's like, oh, we're getting off the plane. And so he oh, got like, off early. He got off in Denver Airport. And it was like, uh, yeah, we're in Denver Airport. He's like, well, which way are the uh, southwest uh, places? Oh, they're on this train. So he gets on a train and starts going. And then at some point, like at the second stop, realizes that he's gotten off at the wrong airport and that the plane, there is no, you know, next flight to whatever. Right. Oh and he God. turns around and goes running back, running back, flushed and flustered, barely makes it back onto his flight, sits, uh, and then, you know, four rows back is just Brian. <laughs> and, and he's like in that moment he's like I'll never tell anyone of what just happened here <laughs> and then of course the moment that he landed he was like ah funny story yeah but it's, uh, it's stuff like that where it's like you only make that mistake once and then mm -hmm. you're sort of programmed to not have that mistake anymore yeah I mean I, I've been on airplanes before so I don't I, I don't want I don't want to have big talk but, <laughs> uh, I feel like that probably won't happen I don't want to be too definitive. If I'm too definitive, it's going to jinx it. No, no, I believe it. I also believe I'm yeah. going to bed. Okay. All right, yeah. Let's uh, wrap this up. Uh, good talk. Good job, team. Chance. I'm going to miss you there, Brett. It was good having you two years ago. Yeah. It was weird showing off that footage and uh, being like, here's the thing uh, Brad did. And then I was like, it's not a contest, and it's very pretty, but also, I'm not sure what we got out of it. And uh, I don't know. I hope I hope that Bryce is able to capture moments of poetry similar to that, because that mm -hmm. really took me back. And I think for a lot of people, it meant something. Uh, also, in our journey, we discovered holy shit! Did behind the scam episodes used to run way long? Good god damn! They were mm -hmm. long. The one we looked up with Nertacular was like 11 12 minutes, minutes or something Maybe stupid. 13? Yeah. yeah. Uh, <laughs> and it, it was in one take. Yeah. It, or it appeared to be mostly in one take. Yeah. Which, uh, uh, yeah. The world deserves better. You okay, Richard? Mm. Um, I, this thing is finally not supporting my weight, so I'm not as it was. Plastic bin. Yeah. Filled with childhood memories. My pants.